Hi there, today I'm unboxing a sound level meter. So details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So reason for purchasing this one is really to do with my YouTube videos. Looking to get some accurate readings on noise levels. So when I'm reviewing speakers for instance. So let's have a quick look what you get. So you get the actual meter and a battery. So if I flip it over, you got some details regarding it. So with full scale backlight ranges 30 decibels to 130 decibels with two measuring means have a precision level of 1.5 decibel. I think the English is quite bad on this. Basic precision of 1.5 decibels plus or minus. And let's go down. So this particular device has a hold and a minimum maximum value on there. So let's slide it out and see what you get. Okay, so the actual card at the back has some instructions. Instructions here in English, which is good. Pretty straightforward. Okay, advertising there and the actual product itself. So quite compact, as you can see. Let me get my ruler just to show you the size of it. So in terms of height, it's around 18 centimeters. The width is around five, and the depth is around three and a half. Battery goes on the back, so that should just slide out. Okay, so just to show it's a cheapo battery you get with the product. So keep your eyes on this in case it um, leaks, for instance, a lot of these cheapo ones do. Simple as just connecting it on the back, put that on and close it. It's got a hole here to connect to a stand if you wanted to. So I've got a small one here just to demonstrate. So if you wanted to position it onto a tripod, for example, and just to show there you go so I've got a larger tripod but just for demonstration purposes this is easier to show so this is a muffler for the actual wind so it just avoids wind noises getting in there and just give you a close-up of that build quality seems okay all plasticky LCD screen there. This is quite strong plastic and a good build of the foam on top. Okay, that looks like it can spin off. Okay, let's put that back on and turn it on. Okay, so this is a test. Testing one, two, three. There you go, you can see it moving. If I hit hold, holds the value. As it says, pretty straightforward. If I do that, maximum, maximum one, two, three. So obviously it will hold the maximum value there. If I click it again, let's see if it can. Okay, yep, yeah, there you go, straight away. The minimum value, it's just held it. So if I go quiet for a second. Okay, I guess that is the minimum value. So it seems to be doing its job. Okay, so I've set up my Bluetooth speaker. It's just here and it's the Zenbri Z8 Plus. So I've got some music I'm gonna play and stream from my phone and let's see what the sound levels are like. So let's get it quiet first for a moment. Okay, and now let me put it up to the max. Pretty straightforward, works quite well. 
and useful to have the minimum and maximum buttons on there so you can actually see the top end or the low end of the actual values you're getting on this. And obviously if you get to a certain point and just want to hold the value, you've got the hold there. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. I think it's going to be a great use to me just for my YouTube videos, just to give more accurate sound readings and sound level readings on there. Details in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.